All right, about time I made a video and start hacking into this this washing machine. Uh, as I said earlier, it's a um, Panasonic NA14 VA1, and it keeps throwing errors and all sorts of carry on. So need to kill it. The best way to kill it was well throwing stripping it down and drive it off the mains and uh, throw something heavy in there and I've got plenty of heavy things lying around so so what's the plan? well strip it down take the concrete counterweights out of it secure the drum springs strip anything else they don't really need out of it and um, find a way to drive the motor. You've got to find out what the motor it is. If it's a standard universal brushed motor, you can drive it straight off the mains. If it's one of those new induction motors with those IGBT uh, drivers that Andy from Photonic Induction hates with a passion apparently, um, best way to drive those is with a VFD. So, and then you can get some really good speeds out of them. So, let's let's start stripping it down and see what we find. The um, drum's still half full of water, and we can't seem to get it out. Pulled the bung out of the bottom of it, and um, no, it's still stuck in there. So I don't know what's going on there. We'll find out soon enough. Showtime. Well, that's a start, I suppose. Look at all that unnecessary shit. I don't know what any of it is, but... That'll, that's your powder loader gadget. I mean, yeah, that gets... yucky. Some... Yeah, I don't know what they do. Don't really care. It's broken, I want to kill it. So... Keep stripping it down. Well, that shit seems certainly seen better days, hasn't it? I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> it's obviously dropped its guts somehow. All sorts of nastiness in the bottom there. Ugh, smegma. But that's promising. So if I can find out what that is, we will be in business. Should be good. Let's continue. Front 
save that for Ted in on it. Hmm. I wonder what's behind these. <laughs> what do you know? Don't come off, fucking force it. That's not coming back either, anyway, so. See you later. Got to do my ragging with this fucking thing. Give up. A loom and a half in it. Just for a washing machine. Okay. I want to snip through it. Never mind the small pliers, these are only the uh, only ones I can find at the moment. Got some others somewhere. Two more wires. Aha! This appears to be the ECU of a washing machine. So, uh, we'll do a tear down on that at some stage. That's heavy, all right. That's <laughs> definitely concrete. That, however, is not fit in well.
Looks like I'm going to have to get the front off it regardless. It appears there's another counterweight on the bottom of the drum. We're getting there. Still got to take that out. Right. I have an idea. I'm not going to use a hammer. Where's my fucking crowbar? feeling I'm meant to take that out. Let's just quickly try that. It's alright, I smashed it. Smashy smashy. Good fun. getting somewhere. Too hard to get back on. That one probably a little bit more interesting. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, I'm almost there. Huzzah! Each side. That should come flying off like that. Haha! <laughs> oh, bollocks! On the bottom of the drum. Yeah. Of course they were going to be on the bottom of the damn drum. Alright. I'm going to chuck this back in. And now, just erase it. Well. Well. 
that basically stopped recording halfway through but I got all the counterweights off now I've got to get into that motor somehow wire it up so that's going to be fun yeah you can see all the bottom bits of shit down there don't ask me what any of it is it's a washing machine I don't really give a shit and them's the counterweights Oop. yeah over there that's all that bullshit should be good almost there well Well, that focus. Yeah, that's less than ideal, isn't it? Don't know what's that been rubbing on. Probably that. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Doubt it'll cause a complete failure unless it was going to ground or something. Certainly wouldn't help its cause, that's for sure. But yes, here's the motor. And there's a the motor cabling. Whole pile of wires going into that. So if anyone can make sense of that, because that's beyond me. You know, it looks like a universal brush motor, but why would you use an inverter to run a brushed motor? You'd use an induction motor, surely. I don't know. I'll continue stripping this thing down, try and get them, see if I can get the motor out, make sense of it. And, um, find out how to rewire the thing. <laughs>